Hello everyone, welcome to another Inventor tutorial. Today I will show you how to create Inventor iPart. What is iPart? Which is Inventor part with different configurations. If you have come from SolidWorks background, you call it configurations. Let's get started. I will open up a new part file to create this bolt. I'm going to use this bolt to demonstrate the idea. So this is a socket head cap screw DIN912 standards. You can find another equivalent sla standards ISO 4762. And also you can find plenty of standard if you Google search uh, typing DIN912 standard equ equivalents. That's enough for that. Uh, here you can see I have um, highlighted main dimensions those are the dimension that I'm going to change with the configurations now let's get started I'm going to open up the correct bolt table which is with the length so you can see here we have got uh, all the length for each size of bolt so first in this tutorial I'm going to create M5 bolt with different length I will go to home position and first let's uh, make all these three plane visible and click on XY plane and create a new sketch so I'm going to create a sketch uh, for a revolve command so I'm going to create the bolt with the revolve commands so create this sketch like this and now let's dimensions so this one is d2 which is the cap diameter so i'm going to use for the d2 8.28 in this table there was minimum and maximum dimensions uh, just to avoid confusion i have removed that maximum dimensions let's use this mini minimum value 8.28 8.28 divided by 2 uh, which is the radius and now I will add uh, K what is the K value 4.82 I will type 4.82 press enter and length of the bolt I will start from 8 so 8 millimeter and the diameter of the bolt M5 5 over 2 2.5 millimeter so now there are two more dimensions for the slot so which I, which will be created after creating this part after creating the revolve so let's finish the sketch and click on revolve and click on the center axis and now the degree is 360 click ok so now the main bolt part is created now let's create the socket click on this surface click on new sketch and under rectangle select polygon and make a hexagon and click done go to constraint select this uh, vertical constraint and select this line so it will become vertical now let's add this dimensions which is s s for m5 bolt is 4.02 click enter now finish the sketch and let's make a screw cut change the boolean output to cut and the distance make it t what is the t value 2.5 so over here make it 2.5 and click ok now the m5 bolt is created with the length of 8 millimeter uh, length so now i'm going to hide these three plane just to see a clear picture now let's create configuration using this bolt so for m1 and what i'm going to do is i will keep all these uh, head dimensions head thickness uh, socket dimensions and socket depth the same and also the diameter of the bolt the same i'm just going to change only the length so I will change the length to 8, 10, 12, 16 and 20. 
so in order to do that you have to go to manage tab under manage you can see this create ipod command under author panel so when you click on create ipod command ipod author dialog box pops up on your right left hand side you can see all the parameters that you added to create the mold which is which start from d0 d1 d2 d3 d5 d6 d7 so i would like to highlight one thing in here if you had given any dimension a label for each parameters those parameters usually come onto this side so this is the side where we want all the parameters in order to create ipod so now you can simply select this one uh, required parameter and click this arrow to bring it over here and you can select the same and do the opposite to remove it so now what i'm going to do is i will cancel this one for now i will go to revolve command revolve feature and i will right click on edit edit sketch so for this lesson we just need to change only the length so i will double click on the length and i will label this one as leng length and equal click ok so now this is labeled as length so if you go to the uh, uh, manage tab under the author press exit the sketch uh, manage tab under the author click on create ipod you can see now the length parameter is already on your right hand side so you can use this one to uh, change create create ipods create configurations now if you look at the uh, first row the length is already there 8 millimeter if you click on here and remove it it will jump onto this side and it will remove from the column as well so now we want that uh, column so i just click on add to add onto your right hand side then it become it comes into this table so under the member i will type here uh, bolt uh, DIN I will type it as a, a socket head cap screw short form DIN 912 standard under the part number I will type as M5 by 8 I will add the part number standard as well that is always a good practice to add the standard so I will add DIN 912-M5 by 8. So how you can add more rows to this table? You just simply have to right click and insert row. I'm going to insert four more rows to represent those 10, 12, 16 and 20 length. So keep adding four more rows and uh, I'm going to uh, change the member number. Actually, you have to enter the uh, size as well under the member number M5 by 8. You can't have same member number. If you have same member number, it reject. It rejects. So you just need to change the, uh, the member number as well. Length become 10. And over here, length become 12 copy and paste length become 16 copy and paste length become 20 similarly over here you can change it to 10 I have copy and paste the first one to make it make typing easy 16 and 20 so I'm going to change the value here so this is the important column uh, you can you you have, you have to change these values then only it reflect those changes onto the part 
now you have created actually now you have created the ipod m5 bolt with different length click ok as soon as you click enter there is new uh, icon is added onto the model tree which is the table when you expand the table you can see each uh, configurations are created with m8 m10 m12 m16 and m20 so when you double click on each configurations you can see the length of the bolt keep changing accordingly now you can actually measure this one you can see how much is the length which is 20 all right now we have created the ipod with different length for m5 bolt let's see how we can use this one with an assembly i'm going to open up an assembly before that i'm going to click on save i will replace i will replace this part with the same name and now i'm going to open up an assembly uh, to demonstrate how we can add those things to an assembly i have created a small uh, assembly just to demonstrate uh, how we can assemble this so this all are m5 holes so i'm going to add different five bolts with the same diameter but different length using that one single part so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on place i'm going to select the bolt that i just created and i'm going to uh, place this one five of them so from here place standard ipad dialog box you can select the length that you want to add to the each for each instances now i'm going to press i'm going to click on m5 by 8 i'm going to click over here and next i'm going to click on m5 by 10 i'm going to click here m5 by 12 m5 by 16 and 5 by 20 now we have placed five bolts and now click ok so now i'm going to use insert command to assemble this one onto this hole click on constraint and place constraint click on insert command and i'm going to select bottom edge of this head and top edge of this hole and click apply assembly is not solved let's accept the relationship for now and i'm going to click on this edge similarly and i'm going to click here click apply similar thing click here apply now if you uh, rotate this assembly and look at the length you will see all these five bolts the length of the five bolts are different we have created uh, this one using just one single bolt so this is the power of configurations so in this next tutorial i am going to show you how to uh, add uh, configurations with di with different diameter to the same bolt so now i have created m5 i will add m6 uh, as well to the same bolt and i will show you how to assemble them in an assembly environment until then thank you everyone for watching if you find this video useful please hit the like button and subscribe the channel so that you won't miss my next video